Hey guys, it's me, Mary Wands, and I am back with another video. Today is Wednesday, April 5th, and it's currently 5.34 p.m. And I have my new baby that I just opened up earlier today. She arrives to me at 1.11. I've got her at like 1.15, 1.16. Luckily, she was right out the right outside the door so i didn't have to go to the package room i just had to go down the steps to then grab her so i was really happy about that but she came to me earlier today and as you guys heard me say it's five well it's 5 35 now but it's pretty a little later than when i opened her but for the first two hours i was just kind of holding her and um I looked at like her limbs, like her legs and her arms because I didn't get a chance to really look at it on video. And she's perfect, by the way, but I just like to inspect the babies after I get them. I'll do that to all my babies, which I'm pretty sure everyone does. Um, and then after that, it's now five. And so I am going to change her outfit. And after it was raining all this week, we're starting to get a little sun so you guys can kind of see the sun here. So I'm going to change her into an Easter outfit because you guys know Easter is on Sunday. So, well, it's not really an Easter outfit, but I'm going to change her into something cute for Easter. And it is something that she came to me with. I don't have any clothes for her, so I am very grateful that she came with everything that she did because I have no clothes for her. As you guys know, this is my first ever baby this size. The biggest baby I had got was Javen, and he was a standing toddler, and he was... 26 27 inches so she's 32 inches so i don't have any clothes for her plus Jaden was a boy anyways and he didn't fit her size anyways i am changing her in a awkward weird position because even though she isn't as big as i thought she is really long and so i am going to be playing around with the angles when i decide to come on camera and change her which probably won't be often again she is not as big as i thought but she's a long baby so as you guys can see she doesn't fit all in the frame and there aren't many options where i can change her at so we're going to try this way and then the next time i decide to change her we'll try some different angles until i figure out which one i like best and which ones you guys like best and which one just works overall anyways i'm talking way too much <laughs> so She's gonna wear this outfit she came to me with. I believe this is a dress. If it's not, it is a really long shirt and we're gonna wear it as a dress. Oh, this is the front. <laughs> and it's this really cute blue color and it has flowers all over it. And the sleeves are like half sleeves. They're not short sleeves really and they're not long sleeves. But I guess, I guess you can say they're short sleeves. Yeah, they are. You know, sometimes they have half sleeves or like little longer sh short sleeves. And then we're going to pair it with these pink tights that she came with. And then these really cute jelly sandals that she came with. So like I said, I'm very, very grateful that she came with all the items that she did because I have no clothes for her. <laughs> and you guys know that she came with these two little lovey friends, the unicorn and then the owl so i told her she had to choose one or the other that she wants to keep and then the other one that she doesn't want will go to her baby sisters september and zelena so she decided on the unicorn of course she wants to keep the unicorn and the owl will go to her little sisters so that's how we did that and then she has some other toys that she can just later decide what she wants to do with it okay i'm gonna put the camera just to her leg so you guys can see me um change her and these are leggings or they might be pajama pants but they're really nice they're just white and they have shapes on there and they're different color shapes so this is how her cloth body looks all this is cloth right here and she stuffed really good right here and then this is her leg and how her feet looks so she doesn't have much legs <laughs> so that might be a little hard for dressing but i'm sure i'll be okay and won't mind can i have your little friend real quick 
also for a name this is not a name reveal as you guys can probably tell by the title but um i'm still undecided on what name i picked out a few names for her but i just have to play around with them and call her that for like a day or so and then figure out what i want to name her but she'll have a name very very soon my names are very very special to me and once i name them that i don't change it so i need to make sure i really want their name to be whatever name i choose so we're still undecided this is a really cute shirt it's white with black hearts this is cat and jack size 2t and i fit her really good it's gonna take me a while to get used to changing a baby this big as well as with the half torso the sun is kind of going down the sun was not out all day it just came out about 30 minutes to an hour ago and is now going back down <laughs> i hope her color is showing up on camera she is a biracial skin tone and I'm not sure if it's coming across on camera her actual skin tone. It usually doesn't, but that's okay. And I'm now going to do her hair on camera. Because again, I have to get used to recording this big of a baby and figuring out what works when recording. So I'm just going to do her hair off camera. And then the next time I do her hair, it'll be on camera or I do like a separate video or something. Once I get the hang of a baby her size. Okay. But I am so happy that I got her. I'm so happy that she came. And thank you to my friend Aisha for allowing me to adopt her. And I know I'm going to have so much fun with her. I have a few things planned that I want to do with her for some videos, so I'm excited about that. She has on some cute little undies, but I think um, I might get some pull-ups for her as well. Okay, and I don't have a topic for today's video. Um, I just wanted to share her with you all. Well, I change her, just pretty much talk about nothing or just random talks here and there. So I hope that's okay with you all that I don't have a topic for today's video. Okay. I think this looks fine. Okay. Sorry that I have to keep adjusting and changing the camera angle. Just want to make sure she's in it. With her dress on and there is two of these that she came with this one is a size 3t and it's from carter's and then the other one was a size 18 months and i don't have a baby that can wear the 18 months one but i'm pretty sure she can fit it as well but i think it would have been cool if she kept this 3t because she has a child size toddler as well um or another one, I should say. She has a Lanka by Natalie Blake, and I believe she can wear a size 3T and 4T. But it would have been cool if she kept this 3T and then sent the 18 months, and they could have matched and had like a little twin stay. But that's okay. Oops, sorry guys, I accidentally bumped into you all. And I know her box opening was super long. I couldn't believe it myself. Um, I kept looking at the time. I'm like, oh, we're doing good or I'm doing good on the time. I'm like, it's not It's not too long. I was at like seven minutes and I was almost done. Okay, it is a dress. I was almost done opening um, Or looking at the rest of her goodies. Sorry, I keep saying um guys but I was almost done looking at her goodies and there was just so much other stuff and 
I had this thing where I kept trying to go into the details, even though I know, I knew I should have kept it simple and said, we got a onesie, we got a pair of pants, we got a passy. But no, I decided to be extra, like I always do, and go into great details about this. We have a white onesie with pink polka dots and pink <laughs> wording. And I don't know why, but I always do it with my box openings. But um, after a while, I started just saying, we have this, we have that. So I can't be the only one that's bad at buttons. <laughs> Every time there's buttons on these outfits, I struggle. And why does, why are there so many baby outfits that have buttons? Like <laughs> I have probably like two or three shirts with buttons and that's it. So this, um, it was between this little outfit that I put together and another little outfit that I put together again that she came with that I wanted her to wear for Easter. And I actually had sent the picture of the two outfits to my mom. I was like, which one should she wear for Easter? Left or right? And she said right, which was uh, this one. And I think it is so cute for Easter. I wish I had like an actual Easter dress for her, but that's okay. We'll give her back her unicorn friend and then we'll put her shoes on. The sun keeps trying to come out and play. <laughs> it's gonna be super fun dressing her and buying clothes for her at this size because there's more options and more cuter options, I should say. More cuter options. And it's gonna be fun taking photos of her as well because of her size. So I can't wait to take more photos of her or take photos of her. I only took one photo and it was just to send to my friend and let her know that I got her and that I really, really like her. Okay. The Velcro being stuck to the stocking. All right. I showed my mom these shoes. I was like, remember? I used to have these. <laughs> she was like, yeah, I remember. But yeah, got one shoe on. And these are really, really cute because they have, they're the clear ones and they have the like iridescent sparkles in it. It's really cute. I had, I think I had clear ones, but I also had white and pink ones as well. But these shoes, I like the OG shoes. <laughs> Everyone I know have these jelly sandals. Okay. So it looks a little funny. I wish the stockings cut off right here, but I had stockings just like these. I had them in pink, white, and black, and they had the little foot part on there too, and they didn't cut off like right here, but they went all the way to my toes. But I think she looks super cute still. This is me changing my new toddler girl. This is the Mimi kit by Being Wow. I'm going to do her hair off camera. And yeah, that's it. Again, I'm still deciding on a name for her. Uh, I have a list of names, but then I started narrowing it down to what possible names for her. So I made another list and this one only has like a few names. So I definitely have to figure out what name I want for her and probably do that by Friday. So I have like two days to call her this name and if it doesn't work out, then I pick a different one. And then I think by Saturday, I should have my final decision, if not before then, but I don't know. I. I don't like to wait too long on picking out a name. But anyway, she looks so cute in this dress. I think it's perfect for Easter. Um, I'm probably going to post a photo of her on Sunday wearing this outfit and uh, letting everyone know that I have her. Uh, kind of like a welcome home post almost. Especially for my Instagram because I don't post on there frequently. And I don't really post on... I don't really post my babies on my stories. So if they're not, or if you're not caught up on my channel, you probably don't 
don't know what babies I have or what babies I don't have. Typically on Instagram, I would delete the photos I have of the babies that I sold. So that's one way, but here you guys get everything first as well as subscribing to my email subscriptions. You get a chance to know everything first. Everyone who is subscribed to my email subscriptions knew that I had a baby coming, which I normally don't do. I usually keep my babies as surprises from everyone with an exception of one or two people. So, and my family. <laughs> but yeah, usually I always keep my babies a secret. Um, but I decided to start sharing more on there. Yeah. Anyway, she still have a few spots of glitter on her from the little ribbon from her box. But that's okay. I'm just going to get them off. But she looks so cute and so peaceful. Anyways, I hope this was a pretty good angle for the first one. We'll probably change her on the floor next. And then maybe the couch. But probably just those three areas either here on the floor or on the couch and we'll see which one fits best anyways i'm gonna go enjoy and spend some more time with her because i'm super super excited to have her i'm thinking about either doing her hair today or doing her hair on sunday before the pictures because i have a bad habit of doing the baby's hair and then when it's time when it's time to take pictures because i usually do it a few days after i change them but after i do their hair I take pictures a few days after and I have a bad habit of not fixing their hair up or redoing it. So I don't know if I'm going to do it today or if I just want to wait and do it before the photos. But anyways, I am talking way too much. I am talking a lot because I don't want to end this video because I want you guys to see her because she just looks so cute. But I'm going to end it and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to follow us on Instagram, you guys can go ahead. My Instagram is Maya underscore Reborns. And I have a few other links in the description that you guys can go ahead and follow. And that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you guys want in the comments, including video requests. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. We will talk to you guys later. Bye.